Hi guys, welcome to another section of our online teaching where we teach you things you ought to know in this lockdown period. And what we're talking about today is on basic science. And what are we looking at on basic science? We are looking at simple machines. That's part two of it. And the subtopic is wheel and axle, the screw jack and the gears. This content was prepared by Baba Tunde. A shout out to Baba Tunde for preparing this amazing content. Before we continue, I want to give you a special thank you. You that's listening to me now that's watching this video, I want to give you a special thank Thank you for always making our time to watch our videos thank you very much we appreciate it. but before we continue i want you to know you need to be subscribed to our youtube channel so if you are not subscribed yet please click on the subscription button to subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure you enable the bell icon that will give you immediate notification when we post our videos so now back to the topic for today's simple machines the first question that comes to your mind is what are machines yeah but i believe after this lecture you should be able to tell people what a machine is and on our subtopic you should be able to answer questions on wheel and axle the screw jack and the gear so let's move on to the next slide and see what we have for you okay on our next slide we have the wheel and axle direct but let me just quickly give you a background of definition what a machine is all about a machine can be referred to as any device that you can make work easier and save your time so now we'll move on to the wheel and axle what we have here the wheel and axle is a form of simple machine made of two wheels of different diameters that are rigidly fixed on the same axle the axle is the cylindrical rod that joins two wheels together and is used in pulling load what that simply means is the wheel and axle they have two diameter with a rod on the middle that will enable you to pull it from one end and the load is being carried on the other end a good examples of wheel and axle are the windlass used in raising buckets of water from the well i believe most of you have seen that if you stay in the southern part of nigeria you believe me that that's quite common in bringing out water from the well they use this wheel and axle techniques in bringing out water and winding out water from long well so that's a very good example another good example of the wheel and axle the screwdriver and the steering the car steering they are very good example and the screwdriver too is a good example of the wheel and axle because on the other part you have your handle and on the other part you have the joint where joins your handle and the screw together and beneath the tip of the screw is where you can use to drive the boat or either you're not inside anything that you want to fix very well so that's that about the wheel and axle let's go to the next slide and see what's there for us okay the principle on which it works that's we're still referring to the wheel and axle principle on which it works is that when effort is applied to the string or rope attached to the rim of the wheel the load is raised by the string or rope would ground the axle it can be used in drawing water using buckets from the well i've talked about that already driving wheel rotates simultaneously and the vehicle moves we've talked about that already as well so the principle on which the wheel and axle works is when a force is applied at one end and a load is being carried at the other end so you can also liken it to the the pulley system i don't know if you've seen that pulley system before where they, they use that in lifting heavy engines like the car engines you know the car engines and the lorry engines they are very heavy so the human hands can carry that so they use the pulley system to bring those those engines out probably when they are faulty and they want to repair them so you use the wheel and axle or the pulley system to pull those engines out so it makes it easier for you to pull load heavy loads actually so now we move on to the screw jack. The screw jack is a common appliance for lifting heavy loads such as motor car when repairs are being done. It works on the principles of inclined plane. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this before especially if your dad owns a car and at one point in time you have a flat tire your dad will bring this screw jack out to make sure they lift the car up and remove the tire so it is very effective in carrying load and it works on the principles of an inclined plane and what we mean by the principle of an inclined plane look at this from this part now this is the handle and this is the handle when you jack this up this stretches this this two this two joint the stretches and this comes up and pushes the load up and when you are done there's a way you bring it down and everything comes down so that's the principle on which it works on on the next slide we are going to be talking about gears a gear is a wheel fixed in machines to make different parts move at different speed or in a different direction gears are made up of two wheels that have teeth one wheel called the driving wheel which drives the other wheel called the driven wheel so basically gears 
are made of two wheels. One is the driving wheel that will drive the other wheel, and one is the driven wheel. That's the wheel you are driving. Do you understand? So that's that about that. And you can see some images here. These are good examples of gears. Take for instance, and you look at this red one. If this red one is attached to this black one, and this one that has the ash color is attached to this one. So when this red one is rotating, clockwisely or anti-clockwisely the black one also moves like that it affects the ash colors wheel and it moves like that so the same principles you have here and the same principle you have here so a continuation teeth of the two wheels are made to interlock such that the application of efforts on the driving wheels can affect the other ones as well so that's it about gears let's look at what we have on the next slide Okay, now we have uses of gears. Okay, we have some specific use of gears I want to explain to you so that when they ask you what are the uses of gears, you should know. Or when you see gears in vehicles, bicycles, motorcycles, or any machine at all, you should be able to know and recognize and say, okay, these are the functions of gears. And about one function of a gear is to transmit power being developed by the engine to the road. What we are just trying to say there is gears are used to transmit powers. Take for instance, now when you want to move a vehicle, you have to you have to put it on gears for it to move. So you transmit that power for your vehicles to move on the road. And on the number two, to harness efficient engine speed for slow speed tasks such as climb being a step hill or starting from rest okay i think that's similar to number one take for instance for those who knows how to drive and for those who knows how to ride motorcycle and for those who have bicycles that have gears you know there are some specific gears you can use to climb hill and there's some specific gears you can use to start the motion that, that's one of the uses of gear and so number three to transmit rotary action from one moving shaft to another and also to change the direction of rotation yeah you can agree with me that what you want your vehicle to go backward you put the gear on reverse and the, the vehicle moves backward like when you want to go forward you simply remove your gear from reverse and then you can move forward so the same thing is applicable to other machines i think machines like your motor car your kicking a pep and all other kind of machines you can mention they have the reverse function that can that can enable the machines come back and still go forward when you just apply your gears so that's all for today if you have any questions please make sure you drop your questions on the comment section of this post i'm going to read them and i'm going to get back to you and answer all your questions please be reminded that if you are not subscribed to our youtube channel yet try as much as possible and click on the subscription button and subscribe and also enable the bell icon to give you immediate access to all our videos once again thank you for watching this video i'll see you next time